So, as I said, we're going to sell the trinkets. Ooh, that one is more expensive than what this trader had. Maybe we should sell the trinkets with our good friend in Homora. Only fights. I look for a ceramic bowl. There it is. Let's just buy it and bring it back to Ajira. That's it. I'm really quick going to check if there are any things that we would like to do in Genesis. Well, yeah, check for quests. Okay. That's not that hard. We just need to look around. Okay, so I have now checked everywhere for quests and have not found any. So I propose, again, I propose that we now that we now bring the Serang Bolt to Ajira and while we're there ask the guild chief there also for new quests I would say. And I need to get used to tab not the beauty key for standing down there again, he's standing down there again. I thought I reset him. But maybe I did not. Suit Strider to Haldrun, and from there take the guild travel over to Balmora. I must be going so. That's what happens. When you have a sip of tea, right while you were uh, while you are walking. So over to Balmora. Just because we see this here, I don't need to read it. Tidings and good wishes to you. Ah, you're a good friend. I have your ceramic bowl. Here it is. Yes, good. This is a very good bowl. Jira thanks you. I'm just going to go through the other entries. So they are. These are like quests that already have been done. So do you have any more duties for me? Ajira knows many secrets, but they're not yet for friend Nighty. Speak with Ajira again when you are a warlock. Renis Afris here may have duties for you, but Ajira does not like her much. Maybe you should speak with Ajira's good friend at Vina in the Guild of Mages in Adrun. So I'm Robert Sarang Bolde. I'm going to ask Renis Ethris, but first I'm going to add me an entry to say ask Ajira for duties. And mm, advance to Warlock in Mages Guild and asking Ajira for duty duties has the requirement Mages Guild advancements to advance to work just to keep our because that's the reason why I had to do all this research because I did not like care for the um, Hail. the checklist while I was playing and so I got completely confused so now I will. This will be better, and we're going to ask Renis Ethris for duties. Hello. Yes, I want more duties. I need someone to convince an ex Telvani to join us. While you're there, you can collect Manwe's guild dues. This sounds like two quests at once. That's interesting. So first of all. How about this ex Talvani? The Talvani's name is Lelar Berilov. He's in Zolipund. If you can't convince him to join, kill him. While you're there, collect the guild dues from Manwe. She's in Punabi, nearby. Okay, so this is this is part where we're going where we might have to break with the Talvani. But we'll have to see. So we have the quest. 
convince Larar Bereloff to join Mages Guild. And I'm sorry this overlay doesn't work yet for some reason. Pund as where he is, or at least I guess it's a he, and then we're going to add collect guild dues from Manwe, who is in Punabi nearby. Let's ask for. First of all, about the dues. Manwe has failed to pay her dues for several years, and she now owes us over 2,000 septims. Allegedly, she's researching something in Punabi near Lelar Berloff in Sulipund. If you can convince her to pay the dues, I will split them with you. Otherwise, kill her. They want me to kill many people. Where is this Sulipund place? It's further along the trail from Punabi. Sulipund is just before the fork in the path. Well, and where is Punabi then? Leaf Balmora going towards Forth Moonmoth to the east. Cross the old Dwemer Bridge, just north of the Forth that leads into Moonlock Moor. Go past the Dwemer Ruin and follow the winding trail east until you reach a lake. You will see Marandos to your south. I will mark this stronghold on your map. Head north from Marandos on the path between the hills. Punabi will be on your right, and Sulipund is further up the path to the left. Just follow the signs to Molagmar. Okay, can you tell me something about Molagamur then? Molagamur is the rocky, uninhabited wilderness interior of southeastern Vardenfell. There are only a few paths in this area and travel is hazardous because of the lava pools. Ah, okay, thank you very much. I am going to be on my way then. And I actually is there think something this I can is do what for we're you, going Arcand. to do. So let's see here. We're going to convince that guy and collect the guild dues. So this is where Miranda's is. We're going to walk over there and then just head further. But first we're going to visit Crossings from Baloa Mora, visit another good friend, Ula. Ravir the traitor, look, he's welcome, so much from us. Ah, welcome, friend, too. Uh, listen, I've got something for you. You have so many things from me already. There is, for example, this amulet, and this little trinket ring, and a belt. And well, we are pretty acrobatic, but these, uh, but these humans need these shoes to match our acrobacy. How about that? Thank you very much. Let's see if I have something that I want to buy, actually. But I don't think he has any of those guys. Potions. Store fatigue, no. Fortify magicka, no. So, Daedric Hearts will be something um, that I would buy. And then there is it's Daedric Hearts and some berries that you mix together to get a Restore Magicka potion. So these should be, the potions in Zev should be rather rare and expensive actually. But I know that after a while I can get some from the just because I'm going to check the chest. What do you want? It is Magicka potions, yes. Always forget to take fortifications here. And out in the rain we go. Through this thunderstorm. So first of all we cross the river.
let's go cave spelunking. This is a zombie. Ash is a zombie. Okay, let us restore our magicka. What we have we walked into. Seemed like he was healing himself. A corpus stalker. Oh, oh. Corpus. I don't want to catch corpus disease, so we should not be touched by them. That is very important. <laughs> because basically, this disease turns you into a zombie, and as soon as you've caught it, nobody will talk to you anymore. the whisperings also. Of course I used all the magicka to cast fireballs on the, on the ground. At least one fireball is enough to kill them. I stumbled into. And also, I think I need to change gamma uh, or something like that. Can I? Yes. To make it a little bit lighter because it's hard for me to see. Okay, what is this? This looks like some dark. Meat hunk, drain fatigue, drain health. Spear, chest. I like the candles, by the way. I would love to have them in my room or something. Oh, there's, there's bells. Could be a riddle where we need to play them in a certain order. Stronger and needed two attacks. It wasn't Ash Zombie again. And we're over encumbered, so let us just try to make some potions. And I want to go by effect. If I make these potions, then they will not help me at all. It'll just help me to learn um, alchemy. Not allowed to drink them. And so many restore fatigue potions, honestly. And oh, I can just drop the 
spiked clubs. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that it did that. Okay, and now I think I'm going to do the little trick that we have. We're going to mark this place. And then use um, CV intervention. Sell everything and then teleport back. And there we go, we're back again. Yeah, I can play I can play the bells actually. This is where the whispers come from. Sounds like some kind of dark altar. I think the other ones were chunks of corpus meat, which is a different ingredient, which means I can make potions again. Training alchemy in the process. This is the only reason why I actually took them. disturbing actually there's an axe here iron battle axe but it's not worth much and I really want to use our no I just need the lock I want to learn um, security so this is not what I want to do this is what I want to do. I think I should resort to magic. I'm not that good with security. on. There's something here. Oh, what's this? But I think this is just like a cave. Ah, there is. I can't get up there. Well, I can levitate up there. Wrong spell. No, it takes so much magicka that I can't cast it. Okay, I just remembered that I had a levitate spell, but I can't use it as well. I failed casting a spell. Why? Of course, now I'm not a magicka. This is really embarrassing. Let's go directly into it. There we go. And no longer levitating. Controlling myself while levitating is not that easy. But there was only an ash slave in here. Well, it was some training for our skills. 
So maybe we need to find somewhere, find a clue about how to ring these bells. So there's nothing here. There is like a little hole, but this is like a cave-in. So let's get back out. There's someone who died here. And of course, this over encumbers us. That's it, there's just a dead body here. We didn't have any. There's, of course, the weapons, but dropped but there was no note or something on the body so I save before I fall in the lava on my way back a really weird place but we've done some cave spelunking again it's been a long time okay, so the question is do we actually end up here I don't believe so to be honest I think I've gone Can you fly down a little strong. It's a blighted cliff racer. Did I oversee something? It was like, let me real quick check the journal. Navi, it was cross the old bridge, go past the ruin and follow the winding trail east. Oh yes, it is follow the winding trail until you reach a lake. So this trail is winding, okay. So we are on the right path, it seems.
And uh, there we are, Punabi. So this is where the woman owes money to the guild. Ma'am, man way. Um, excuse me, I have been sent to collect the dues that you owe to the guild. I left the Mages Guild and dedicated my life to studying the adaptive responses of quaternary variations in oblivion streams. If Renis Ethris wants the dues that that much, why don't you just pay them yourself? I'm unconcerned with such petty financial matters. My time is precious, so make it quick. It's a bit arrogant, isn't it? Check this place out. Living, you say this look actually sounds like necromancy, and you do know what the major skill thinks of necromancers. Aha, uh creature -huh. of oblivion. Clan fear, and there is the Daedra heart. This is what we need in order to create potions that um, restore magicka. So that would be one creature to summon in order to create Restore Magic Potions. Yep, I'm not using the strongest spells I know. This should give me fire assaults. So she's harboring you saw it, she attacked me first, right? But I'm just going to take the plate too. These aren't that good, these are just apprentice, like quality 0.5. So I'm going to take them with me, I have quality 1.2. They are clearly necromancers. <laughs> 